So as you can see here with this code, one thing that we are not doing is specifying the tick marks on our axis. So we are specifying the axis label here, y axis, y and x axis over here, but, and then we are specifying the values that go in. So for example, uh, we have the values here. These are the x values and these are the y values. But what we are not doing is specifying what these tick marks should be. With this, these are automatically decided. So if I add in another number here, for example, nine, then if I add in 20 here, and if I run this, you can see that the uh, tick marks have changed. So they have changed on this direction. They do not longer have decimal places. So what we can do is we have, uh, if I remove these over here, you can see the values will change the tick mark. So if I run this, you can see that the matplotlib library itself decides what labels should go in so if i scroll down over here and uh, you can see for this it has the decimal points and these decimal points are annoying so how do we define these tick marks ourselves so what we can do is we can actually specify the tick marks by using the x ticks option here so plot dot x ticks and plot dot y ticks and you can see the values we can specify over here one two three so that's what we want the x values to be because these match up with the values we have here so these match up there and of course we can specify the same for y here and the tick marks we want four five six so this is quite easy to do and then again we've got the y label and the x label so if i run this and you can see now the output has changed we've got values four five six for this one because that's what we specified so if you look over here we had four five six and that's what's been specified so if we go down here and for the x-axis you can see we've got the values one two again because we specified one two three there so you can use the x ticks method over here and y ticks method and um, these allow you to have the right ticks for your graph but if you don't specify anything so for example here we didn't specify anything all we did was we imported the library we set the values for the x and y and we just set the label and we showed the plot so if we don't specify the tick box then we will get given the random ones that that plot lib thinks are the best one so what you can do is you can use these over here and that will let you be very specific with your tick mark so just remember the x ticks and y tick methods over here that belong to the pi plot module that we use